What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Ultra League and the Ultra League Premier Cup metas as it's coming today at 1pm PST, or GMT minus 8 I believe, or might be minus 7, but you guys know when leagues rotate here on Monday we are having Ultra League and Ultra League Premier Cup come back. Now, because of XL Candy and the ability to have caught a lot of these Pokemon, we are going to see meta shifts here um, in both Ultra and Ultra Premier, which is kind of cool. But on top of that, there will also be great counters to these Pokemon if you do not have them. We're going to take a look at the open Ultra League. This is going to be including Legendary and Mythical Pokemon. So Registeel XL is still number one, um, which is yeah, it's definitely strong. Anyways. We also have Cresselia as well as still up there, but the new additions here are going to be Abomasnow, Stunfisk, Mandibuzz, and Umbreon here at the top. When we think about the open Ultra League, we know Cresselia, Registeel, Giratina, Altered, right? Are the big three here. These guys can tank some, take some of these down. So Obama Snow XL or Shadow Obama Snow XL. So hopefully you guys have been catching your Snowvers. Um, can beat Giratina Altered and Cresselia. On top of that, we really haven't seen a Grass type Pokemon in Open Ultra League be very dominant because they get beat by the Dragons, right? Or beat by Cresselia like Venusaur with the Future Sight, for example. But what we see here with Obama Snow is having Powder Snow, Weather Ball, Ice, and Energy Ball can now handle the big core that we. We do see um, here in the Ultra League, so you definitely get you guys will definitely be seeing Obama Snows, Shadow Obama Snows as well. Galarian Stunfisk, and the only way to really get this um, is basically hatching Galarian Stunfisk, or maybe catching some of those normal Stunfisk from the Mareep um, Incense Day yesterday. So some people may actually have Stunfisk. I personally have about 40. XL candies just from hatching Galarian Stunfisk, which you guys can get from seven kilometer eggs. So if you've been hatching a lot of them, it is, there is a huge potential here to actually have it. This thing um, is an absolute tank. It's fantastic in Great League, and now it's fantastic here in Ultra League and Ultra League Premier Cup. So you're still going to be running the same moveset of um, Mudshot, Rock Slide, and Earthquake. You can beat the Cresselias, the Melmetals, the Articunos. You can still hit these Pokemon that would beat you with a lot of damage, right? Giratina Altered will still get hurt by those Earthquakes, but it's an absolute tank. Next up, we have Mandibuzz and Umbreon. These two are specifically high on the ranking due to Cresselia and Giratina. These things are absolute tanks. Umbreon is the, you know, absolute tank that we know from Great League. It is now an Ultra League with XL. Um, and Mandibuzz is the flying Umbreon. That's literally what these two Pokemon are. It's the ground version and the flying version. Um, so we have Mandibuzz right here. Snarl, um, Foul Play, Aerial Ace is going to be the ideal moveset, but you could run with Shadow Ball as well. But um, Foul Play will be picking up the coverage that Shadow Ball um, would otherwise pick up um, in most cases, right? So Cresselia, Giratina, Alter is really the pickup that you want. Foul Play has that same type attack bonus, whereas Shadow Ball doesn't. That's due to the dark flying typing. Aerial Ace is going to be a nice pickup as well for neutral damage to things that would otherwise resist Foul Play um, or do super effective damage maybe to something like that Obama Snow. Um, or something like Venusaur or maybe a fighter. Um, so we will see Mandibuzz come up, but I don't know how many people actually have XL Mandibuzz considering how difficult it may be to actually hatch them. Um, but you know, you may see it. You need to be aware of it. Mandibuzz is definitely strong. Um, so yeah, this is this is kind of looking how the meta is shaping up. We're still going to have our Registeel, um, Cresselia, Giratina altered, but now we're having um, some big boy counters to that. On top of some other sneaky counters still rising, right? So there's Steelix XL, Ferrothorn XL, Meganium XL, which by the way, oh, this is a great time to talk about it. We have the Johto event, and I'll actually pull that up right now. So the Johto event this is just going to be a quick talk right here to um, inform you guys about what's happening. So the Johto event is going to be Tuesday, January. January 26th to Sunday, January 31st. It's all going to be local time, which is going to be 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. as you guys can see right here. I'll have a link down in the description to this article so you can have a read for yourselves. But the biggest things to take away right now. Firstly, these evolutions. So Bayleaf or, or Chikorita, if you evolve it to Meganium, you're going to get Frenzy Plant. That's huge. Um, Cyndaquil or uh, Quill Lava to Typhlosion is going to get Blast Burn. Flaffy to Ampharos is going to get Dragon Pulse. And Pupitar to Tyranitar is going to get Smackdown. These are those Community Day moves that we saw from a couple years ago, which are really, really strong. Um, I personally need a Meganium, um, which is going to be nice because I missed out on that Community Day. And uh, the only one I have is from a trade. Um, so the rest of these I already have. But this is going to be a great opportunity if you guys haven't got those yet. So be sure to evolve these. Make sure to try to get yourself some PvP IVs because they're going to be wild spawns here, as we can see. 
On top of that, um, we're also gonna look at the tier three raids. Where are those at? Um, right here. So Togetic, Espeon, Umbreon, Skarmory, and Miltank. Um, the two big ones I want you guys to focus on is gonna be that Umbreon and Skarmory. Reason being, if you don't have um, some good IV um, EVs and you don't really want to take the time to walk 10 kilometers and evolve at night and all that jazz You can do some Umbreon raids and you guys have a high chance of getting a good PvP IV Which is ideally going to be that 100% IV same with Skarmory So both of these um, you guys could get high IVs for Ultra League um, and Ultra League Premier Cup That way when you have enough XL candy you can boost those up So there's gonna be some good raids to do we will also see Entei, Raikou and Suicune coming back um, with their dates and times here as for go battle league right now only really raiko and suicune have some play um suicune definitely i think has a bit more play with his moveset but um raiko as well is definitely very strong but nothing dominant that we see here um in any of the leagues but that's what i want you guys to focus on getting these evolutions catching good pvp ivs and doing some of these raids um if you have them to get the ivs for ultra league all right as we go back we're just going to go through we just went we just talked about the meganium um right vine with frenzy plant earthquake it's going to handle a lot of those waters still can beat cresselia still has earthquake as well for giratina altered which is pretty huge but as you guys are seeing we're seeing a lot of xl pokemon coming up which we can filter without xl pokemon as well so if we take away xl pokemon just by clicking this button we can see cresselia reggie steel giratina altered swamp the meta is still the same right this is still the meta that we've seen in ultra league um but now with xl it's going to bring in a whole bunch of new pokemon which means you know if there's gonna be a bunch of reggie steel obama snow stun fisk umbreons hey maybe some fighters come up maybe um maybe a berserker right it has close combat it can beat giratine altered cresselia um so that could be a big play and and with the xl candy i think you guys could definitely do that um, but yeah, there's gonna be a lot of great Pokemon here that weren't usable before so Skarmory as well coming up But I think the big ones to take away for open Ultra League It's gonna be Abomasnow, Stunfisk, and Umbreon and Flying Umbreon <laughs> Alright, next up we have the Premier Cup in Ultra League And this is where the meta is really gonna start shaking up And by shaking up, I just mean have a lot more options and a lot of similar um, team comps or a rise in certain typings so what we're going to see here is galarian stunfisk and shadow obama snow both xl are going to be number one and number two jellicent is there as well but not a single person on planet earth will have jellicent xl because it's not a wild catch and you can only get it from go battle league which means it's actually physically impossible to have jellicent xl so i wouldn't worry about that that's i don't even know why that's really up there to be honest so matt if you're watching this or pv poke if you're watching this um because i don't I don't think that's a wild spawn, so I don't think that's possible. But these two are number one and two. We're also seeing Flying Umbreon out there with Mandibuzz. We're seeing Skarmory XL, Scrafty XL, Abomasnow XL, Politoed XL, Driftblum. You guys are starting to see Driftblum XL, Gavantula XL, Lola Ninetales XL. Um, but what's great here is because of this meta, right, where we have things are weak to fighting, weak to fighting. I mean, this thing's weak to a lot of stuff, but you guys get it. Weak to fighting, weak to fighting, weak to charmers, could be neutral to fighting, right, the flying type, weak to fighting. Um, weak to electric, weak to electric. What you guys are going to see is when we actually take away XL, we're going to see Machamp, Machamp, Magnezone, Surfetched, Magnezone, Escavalier. So what we're going to see is if you guys don't have these XL Pokemon, you guys want to be bringing counters to the XL Pokemon. So like a Shadow Machamp is going to be a great example. Being able to handle maybe the Galarian Stunfisk and the Obama Snow doing really well with that. Counter Cross Shop Rock Slide. Uh, Magnezone as well. Magnezone Shadow handling a lot of the flyers that we see. Can handle Lapras. A lot of those waters. The Dragons. Um, so this is kind of how the meta is going to shake up. If you don't have it, you definitely want to have counters to it, um, which is why I think it's going to be it's going to be kind of fun. I think we're going to see a lot of fighters um, in the Ultra League Premier Cup, which means we're going to see basically a, a, a triangle happening. We're going to see the uh, the XL Mons that we see up here. We're going to see the counters to that and the counters to those counters. So it's basically going to be like a Galarian Sunfisk, a Togekiss and a Shadow Machamp um, in, in that kind of triangle of, of counters here or counters somewhat to that, um, which is going to be pretty cool. But I think there's going to be so many good options. I mean, Gengar being number 30, you guys know Gengar is absolutely deadly. You guys have to watch out for that. Heck, even Swampert, 32. Swampert was one of the top ones last season, so it's still extremely strong. Same with, like, Toxicroak. Gallade, I think, is the greatest Pokemon still in the Ultra League Premier Cup, and it's ranked 43. So this is why the Ultra League Premier Cup meta 
um, you, you want to take with a grain of salt or a grain of stardust um, because even if the top ranked ones are here, counters to it, like way down here, um, like Toxicroak, for example, um, is going to be really, really strong. It can beat, I don't know why it's not showing the Abomasnow, but it can beat um, the Abomasnow. It can beat the Galarian Stunfisk right here. Um, so if we see Abomasnow... Um, yeah, it can beat the Bomb of Snow. It's close, especially with the uh, the Shadow one. It's very close, um, but Counter's doing super effective damage. And then Stunfisk, um, Stunfisk Galarian, it can beat that as well. The XL and the normal Stunfisk right here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see we're gonna see a lot of fighters, I think, in Ultra League Premier Cup. But it, the meta definitely looks like a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna be running Ultra League Premier Cup most of the week, um, but I'm hopefully gonna be showcasing some teams um, and videos as well with Open Ultra League. But yeah, this is definitely gonna be a lot of fun. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think um, here about the Ultra League and the Ultra League Premier Cup. Um, because, you know, there's going to be these new Pokemon. So let me know if you actually have these Pokemon. Do you have an XL Abomasnow? Do you have an XL Shadow Abomasnow? Have you guys been working towards that? If not, what counters are you guys going to bring to it? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.